group. 23 mode active. And then we'll do channel group. 23 mode desirable. So we're going to be going for PAGP. This time we're going to do the Cisco version. So interface range FA0 16 through 18. We'll do no channel group uh, 23 mode uh, is um, active. Then we'll just change it to PAGP here. So we'll do channel group 23 mode. And then as you can see here, instead of desirable, um, Desirable is kind of like desirable to PAG P is kind of like what active is to lag P. So it's going to enable it unconditionally. Basically, it's just going to keep trying to, you know, uh, form the, the either channel group. Whereas the auto in PAG P is kind of like the passive in lag P, where it's just going to sit back and if it receives requests to become an either channel, then it will. But if it doesn't receive it, it's not going to actively try to go out and, you know, uh, create the either channel. So we'll do channel group 23 mode and then auto. Again, this is PAGP. This is the Cisco proprietary method. So maybe this, this configuration will give us a... Uh, Maybe this configuration will give us a better output here. So on switch three, if we do a show interface PO23 either channel. Okay, so now as you can see, we have all th three ports in the either channel on switch three. And on switch two, if we do a show interface PO23 either channel. On switch two, we also see the ports uh, enabled so as you can see it looks to be working here again this is the Cisco proprietary method and we are running a layer 3 e either channel here so if we do a show interface PO23 again this is where you can see that it's a layer 3 either channel Again, we have a IP address associated with the either channel, so that right away should give you the tip you off to it being a layer three either channel. Again, you can try to ping across 10.10.10.3, which is switch three. And as you see here, we have, we are successful. But it looks like we have a lot of issues here. It looks like it's bouncing like crazy. So if we do a show interface PO23 either channel, we can see here all three ports are in the either channel on both sides. So I'm going to leave it at that. Looks like we have a lot of our ports are bouncing. Again, if we go back to GNS3, this is basically what we had going on here. We had switch 2, FA16 through 18, and switch 3, FA16 through 18. And we created an either channel, uh, both a layer 2 either channel with trunking over the either channel at layer 2. And we also had a layer 3 either channel where we configured an actual IP address under the port channel interface and we were able to ping across from one uh, side of the either channel to the other. So I hope you guys have learned a lot from this video and again I'm going to be doing a lot more layer 2 videos so just stick with me here and uh, I hope I hope uh, you'll be around to see the next video. Thanks, guys.
Bye.